Welcome to Face to Face. This is a show about change and about what's next. It's a show that wants to ask questions, peel back the layers of our average everyday experience, and go beyond scratching the surface. We interview amazing people with incredible ideas and stories who have done wild, weird, and wonderful things. Remember that imagination shared create collaboration, and collaboration creates community, and community inspires social change. I'm David Peck, and this is Face to Face. So my next interview was with a Polish director by the name of Jan Komasa. We had a great time, I think, talking about his new film, Corpus Christi. And it's, it's a, this is a beautiful film to watch and a fascinating story based on true events for those of you who, you know, who care about those kinds of things. And I know many, many people do. It's, it was based on a, an article written about a, a boy, a young man, who, who impersonated a priest for about three months and uh, and and frankly, um, and certainly, it comes out in the film uh, brought brought a sense of humanity to this role uh, that I guess is often maybe not always seen and or talked about and or maybe seen up on screen. And so this is this is a complicated film, as 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 all uh, you know human stories seem to be. But I think Jan handles it beautifully. Uh, Jan's a thoughtful guy, and 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 this is a this is just a, a beautiful film about about what it means to be human, uh, about dysfunction. This is about uh, healing. This is about stepping in. You know, this is about healing in a community. Uh, you know, it seems to me it's it's about uh, uh, you know it's about guilt and it's about anger and fear and feelings and and how we work through those things and and how we work through them together. And here's this guy impersonating a priest who's a criminal, by the way, uh, who who. Who, who gets out of jail was an altar boy uh, in, inside in 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 jail and is now kind of making sense of his world by 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 sort of deceiving others but in a really positive way i mean what a beautiful uh, juxtaposition in this you know in this crazy beautiful world that that we live in so stay tuned for a, a fascinating interview with jan and and look for corpus christi it's a stunning and gorgeous film you'll want to check it out in the very near future don't forget davidpecklife.com for more information about my writing and speaking you can get a copy of real changes incremental there uh, through amazon i'd appreciate it if you did that uh, and and you can find out more about my my writing and my speaking there and and face to face live.ca we're, we're going to be coming close to 500 published interviews by by the end of the year and if not early into 2020 really proud of that we've had some incredible guests on and 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 some wonderful people uh, at the toronto international film festival this year as well and you can advertise with us you can get into our newsletter and by the way sign up for that if you haven't already Uh, you can advertise on our website banner ads and so on and also shout outs we're happy to do that and maybe even some special interviews if you know you're willing to pay our crazy outrageous advertising fees but please do reach out to us and and spread the word spread uh the word about about the podcast and if you can't do any of that uh you can also even uh, support us through patreon and if you can't do that financially totally get it please do leave us a review uh itunes we would appreciate it it actually does make a big difference getting those stars and getting that uh you know that human digital contact uh, uh through a review and don't forget rabble.c as well. That's where uh, a whole host of other writers and bloggers and thinkers and, 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 and podcasters are appearing on a, on a daily basis talking about things that matter here uh, to us in the world, but to, to Canada specifically. Uh, rabble.ca news for the rest of us. Coming right up, Jan Kamasa talking about his new film, Corpus Christi. Well, welcome to Face to Face. We're, we're joined by another uh, very special guest here at the Toronto International Film Festival, uh, 2019, for those of you who care. Uh, Jan Kamasa is here to, today to talk about his new film, Corpus Christi. Jan, thank you for uh, spending the time today uh, on Face to Face. Thank you for having me here. And and I just found out Jan is uh, a lover of podcasts. And, uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. A couple, couple favorites for the audience. Do you want to? Yeah, yeah I, I use on a daily basis. I listen to Ezra Klein's show, uh, The Daily, New York Times show, um, stuff to blow your mind oh, if you good. if you like yeah, some yeah, geeky is, stuff yeah. like science science stuff, but also The Guardian and Joe Rogan and uh, Malcolm Gladwell, 
Mm, and, and now you're going to add face face to face to that of list course. as well. Yes. Now that yeah. I know, now that I know, <laughs> and right. I'm thrilled to be for the first time in my life to be in a podcast. Oh, so you're kidding! Yes, oh, well, it's that's the first time. Oh, that's fun. So. That's pretty cool. So, well, welcome to Toronto and and to the Toronto International Film Festival, uh, and congratulations on the film. Thanks very much. Yeah, and tonight's the, so tonight's the premiere. Tonight's the premiere. A little nervous and, and probably. Yeah, well, it's I'm. I'm excited, nervous. My agents are here, so I have to be, you know, I have to keep up the good shape. Right. <laughs> Mentally, right. Yes, I have to be yes. sharp. Um, but um, And this is the international premiere, is that Well, it, we had the international premiere at the Venice Film Festival Venice. Uh, last week. So I'm sort of straight from Venice through Warsaw, where I live. I had to pack my things and get it and just... You know, so in Venice, we were in, in like with my whole crew, 18 people, actors, actresses, wow. and producers and everybody. And here, because it's Toronto, it's far away and people had had to be back and working and, you know, making money. So um, I'm with my screen, script writer, Mateusz, and my producer, Aneta. So, so tell us a little bit about the film. Um, most most of our our listeners uh, won't have a chance to see it at, at the festival. So, yeah. I don't know how you feel about talking about the. You know, some directors don't like to talk about content and the spoilers, right? And so, so feel free to to, to go anywhere. But Corpus Christi, uh, obviously, a deeply um, a deeply Catholic film is. Can I say that do, in do, a way? Do you think well, so? well, but but yeah. My line is my line today is everything comes with footnotes. Okay. So Catholic film, yes. Or what I'll say is I'll say it's a small C Catholic. Okay. Not a capital C. Uh, if, not if, also, if that okay, makes okay. sense. So it's like it's like a commentary. It's a critique. Okay. Is it is that sort of where the film started? Would you say, or does it start with the person with that? Um, uh, redemptive part of the the character. And yeah. D- 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 does that make sense? That question. Uh, yeah. yeah. Sh- sh- well, it it started very simply because hmm. each year we have in Poland. Poland is a very uh, Christian Catholic con- country. Uh, the polling says ninety percent something people wow. are believers. I think it's a lot less. Officially, church is you know upscaling it a, b- a little bit. So. But um, yeah, well, the the thing is, we each year we have several cases of people pretending to be priests and nuns in Poland, uh, mostly for economical uh, reasons. They they you know they cheat for money and also sometimes they escape from police, uh, so they take on a robe and, and this yeah. is, and this is based in a certain amount of truth this story yes right? yeah, it's, yeah. it's inspired by real events um so this case was exceptional the young man his, his real name was is patrick well patrick um wanted to be become a priest and he didn't want to wait so he was 19 19 and he decided to just you know pretend he's he just finished seminar which takes like seven years to accomplish i think wow okay and does you know and he found uh, a very sheepish and uh, to say priest who believed in everything he said and this priest was you know trustworthy for sure. the community in which daniel the patrick was introduced so that was that was kind of a big story in Poland five, six years ago. And then uh, my friend Krzysztof Rak, who is a scriptwriter and producer, uh, we wanted to make a film together, but it, you know, it just didn't work out. Uh, but uh, he uh, came across this, this article and in the article he, uh, he was it blew his mind. So, so the fact that that this young man yes. became a priest, sort of. Yes, yes, yes. And and the fact that it's so exceptional that this guy wanted to dis- do something good for the community. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was cheating, and he did. 
It's a, it's an amazing paradox. I love yes. the paradox of that, yes. and it comes out in yeah. so many scenes, Jan. Too the the str- almost the struggle of this convict who's yeah. committed some fairly serious crimes. Yeah, well, right? well, in terms like in, from, from the perspective of Catholicism, Catholicism. Yeah. I mean, I think you know he was um, excommunicated afterwards. I um, mean, the original. Um, like he was excommunicated, but funny enough, the Vatican healed. It's it's called in canon canonic law, healed his sacraments. Hmm. So when he gave, uh, he he uh, was conducting. You know, he was baptizing. He gave him. You know, he, he was married couples and like marriages, like. Afterwards, people were asking, "Are we married are we or even not?" Married? Yes. yes, and yeah. so so there's and as uh, it's a religious community, so it was an issue for them, obviously. So they were writing to Vatican, and Vatican had to make uh, it was, uh, you know, astonishing for Vatican to have oh. a, a case like this. Yes, and they had to run an investigation, and afterwards, they decided that they're going to heal the sacraments, which means they're going to make them legal, even though they were not, quote, dignifying. So. There's something about it for me that I love about about him, that he's so, he's so human. And I think for me, that, that, and I think maybe that's where I was going with this is, you know, this has, has this Catholic sort of like element, mm-hmm. or church-like element, or Christian, whatever you want, or religious. I, yeah. It's, Spiritual. Spiritual. This man, uh, this man who has issues, yeah. who's committed crimes, who's deceiving the community on a yeah. certain level, yes. and yet is bringing redemption. Yes. And, and, and like even when he's praying, yes, he's praying in a way, he's injecting, I, I, I just thought he was injecting truth yes. and authenticity. And, yeah. and, I'm, and, and, and the scenes with him dancing, and, and I mean, it's just wonderful, right? Yeah. That, that isn't this what... Maybe the Catholic Church could actually learn. Well, actually... <laughs> Does that make sense? That, that, you know? that, it, it totally makes sense because, you know, if you look at what Pope Francis do, is doing, I'm, to be honest, I mean, let's, it's not like I wanted to make this film from Catholic perspective. Right, right. Mm, it might be perceived as such because I was born and raised Catholic right. and uh, it, it's Poland, so it's predominantly Christian, uh, but I wanted I I felt like the the power of the script comes from it being just human. It's human. It's real. Yes. It's honest. Yes. Yeah. And so so that's what do, Daniel is doing. The main character, he is using his uh, life hacks and you know down to earth upbringing to sort of. Uh, uh, run therapy with a uh, 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 fractured community um, after trauma, traumatized by the, the horrible accident that really happened. So, Jan, it's great that this, this guy who's clearly suffering from levels of dysfunction yeah. relationally yeah. is bringing healing to a community yes. that's suffering from <laughs> dysfunction. <laughs> it's like, fantastic. Yes, yes. Right? There's I so mean, many absurds. It's beautiful, it's, but it's beautiful too, it, right? It shows you the power of... Of, and I think what for me is just so striking, uh, the pastors and the, the priests that I've met, you, you wonder sometimes, um, are they also pastoral, yeah. if you know what I mean? Yeah, are, yeah. They, you know, are they breaking down that stuff? Yeah. Are, are they a regular guy? Okay. Can yeah, you yeah. hang out with them? Like, are they, like, they going to tell you the like, truth, or is it all about you know, the, the seminary and the training? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The How much of the human is in the, yeah. in where's the, the human? priest? Like, where's, where's, the the human? Human? where's the humanity of God yes. in this priest? Where is the humanity of God? That's, that's, well, very well put. I mean, with Daniel, it was like as if he has to improvise. Like, he's mm. not totally, he's <laughs> not, he's not, you know, he's improvising. There's a scene where he falls to his knees. Yes. Or at least yes. a couple, but the, the community. And yeah, it's like yeah. his facial expression. He's a wonderful performance. Yeah. By the, and by the way, congratulations on the film. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's challenging and it's entertaining and it's 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 difficult and it's beautifully shot too. It's yeah. it's yeah, gorgeous to look at. But but there's the scene where um, uh, kind of near the end and the community's around him. Uh, I think it's a funeral. I think it's the funeral yeah, yeah. and the singing is just happening. He yeah. sort of you can see that look in his face and he falls to his knees. Yeah, it's like yeah, 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 he yeah. just decided to yeah. do that right in the moment. <laughs> like right in the moment. He and felt then like every, everyone 
Yeah, the, yeah, they, they had to. They, they have to do to, it, even they though they to. they're you know elegant <laughs> because right. it's the ceremony. It's so like good. he decides to like, and they are kneeling in the mo- and like there, there's this like dirt, like dirty puddles uh, for water yeah, rain no, like, no hard wood or stone yeah. floors here no 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 no, no. Yeah. so it, he decided like, he he sort of he's like this figure of uh of uh an early apostle like we, you know you have somebody who com- so, sort of wants to come to like come back be back to roots mm-hmm. like what it really mean means to be close to um people and he resigns from everything which seems comfy you know from and from the institution because the institution like it's you can say it's an anti-institutional film totally to 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 a degree that you know daniel sort of embodies real uh help for the community and hope but at the same time he's the biggest threat for uh, institutionalized church. I'm sure. I'm sure there will be priests, Catholics, who will criticize this for you yeah. mocking the church. I well, suppose. But th- what's so deeply ironic to me yeah. is that there is a profound sense of healing and redemptive. I mean, there's so much redemption. Yes. Right. That's going. There's so much humanity. Once again, we're back to that sort yeah, of yeah. that truth and authenticity yeah. that, frankly, the church around the world, all religions could could benefit from yeah. getting a little more uh, of the human being yeah right be, be honest with one another right be open be truthful well th- that's the thing like um when we wanted to we were shooting uh, the film in a very like in a polish bi- bible belt like the bible the po- belt of poland I've never, th- I've never thought of the polish bible uh, yeah belt there before, is one like I'm sure there the is. southern eastern uh, region of poland is very religious and conservative and priests there are also so they didn't allow us to shoot there in their church i mean oh, right. so we had to move from to a different part of poland and is that because they know your the films that you've made your background and so on or that they just didn't want to be associated with a movie as you know well, it's sinful after all I think for probably everything. Probably. Okay. Yeah, my yeah. first film was like in, in my first film the main character is bisexual and it's not, you know, like it's it's a movie about, you know, growing into um my second film is sort of it's it's a huge blockbuster about Warsaw Uprising. So in Poland Warsaw Uprising is a is a myth, is a founding myth. Uh and uh, you know, I I did it in a very uh, not you know regular way. A lot of music video approach, uh, like dubstep. Uh, you know, dif- different style of, of music, uh, like mixed with uh, with World War Two. And so I'm being per- perceived in so- as somebody who is a provocateur. Provocateur. A, yes, yes, a bit. Yes, yes, so. Yeah. I think church was suspicious, but what was more suspicious for them is that the film, and I have the exact, like, I have literally the, the letter from the bishop um, uh, who was governing the region we were shooting in. Um, he said, it's, a, it's an anti-Christian project. He's not going to support it. Um, we Because... <laughs> the script is so well written and Jan Komasa is making the film probably is going to be an, a good movie which is even much more harmful for uh, Catholics because it will lure them out of faith and believing. I wonder, I wonder if the bishop noticed that uh, Daniel is an Old Testament prophet. Okay, yes. Well, that's the thing. Like, if, like it, Did they take the time with it? Did they actually... Did they actually look at it? You know what I mean? And, yeah, I, th- yeah, yeah, and yeah. I think this is oh, that's that's uh, that's worldly, that's sinful, yes. that's yes. you know because there's yeah. there's swearing in it after all, yeah. you know. Therefore, right? And it's there's just, a lot of dirt. I mean, yeah, but everybody like like, but biblically saying, but, but on the sur- but that's on the surface. That's on the surface. Let's peel back some layers yeah. here and, yeah. and and let's go a little deeper, which yeah. is what we're trying trying to do now. Um, there's a great line. Um, uh, 
no seminary will accept convicts like you. Yes, yes. And I just, I laughed out loud <laughs> and I thought, you know what? Maybe they should. Okay. Maybe they should. Does, do, do you it's, know what I mean? Well, that's the, that's the absurd of this, this original situation. This guy, he came from nowhere and he cheated the community. Mm. He, and eventually he healed the community and they loved him. And he was, you know, excommunicated. Like he, he can't be Christian anymore. So as if there's the message coming from it, like you can be Christian, but you can be, you don't necessarily have to be um, efficient or uh, as a Christian. Like if you do good, you have to b do good by the rules. By the rules. I, I was thinking of code, code yes. like a conduct. Conduct. There's, there's ways of code doing of things. Code of conduct. Yeah. You, you've stepped out of those, yes. outside of those, and therefore you can't be this. And yeah. so, right. And so, I guess that's that's kind of what I mean by let's let a few convicts into seminaries, yeah, yeah, yeah. and maybe they'll mix it up a little bit. Yeah, I think and, they're. You know, you know, it's overwhelmingly. They might be overwhelmingly effective. With community because they know life and uh, well, they have the experience. Yeah. Uh, well, he broke each of ten commandments, like he has an over knowledge. Like he ha he knows a lot more than people who who are coming to him, and you know telling him their sins, etc. So he was already there, and he been he has been there, and he knows what he's talking about. So nothing will surprise him, and it's like. To a certain point, even though he's very young, he w he already is old. He's already old, right. and he sort of knows he is rejected by the society himself. So he knows how it how it is to be rejected. Sure, sure, yeah, yeah. There's a. It's really interesting, you know. So young, um, and yet there's a, a wisdom, yep. and and a maturity. I mean, how like on a certain level, uh, you know, the Psalm twenty three is that right? What that he sings. Uh, yes. Yeah. 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 The, yeah at the near, near, in, in yes. when he's still in prison. Yes. You, you, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I mean, this is a spiritual moment. Talk about a contradiction and turning things up upside down. Yeah. This beautiful moment. Ex well, as you say, broke all commandments. Yes. And yet, beautifully singing this and and yeah. and, and, and and not mechanically praying. Not as, mechanically right? praying. Which that's is true. also wonderful. It, so it's just anyway. Yeah. I love the contradictions. I love the paradox because I think. Uh, again, we're back. We're just back to this 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 human element and this this human human component. How did you find um, uh, uh, Daniel, the actor? Uh, I mean, it's, it's he was on my radar for a long time. He is very well known in Poland, for especially among theater the theater yeah. yes uh, audiences. He because he's characteristic. Um, he doesn't get many films in which like definitely not the main roles he he was like um he in many films he started uh, like he was playing villains because he can be psychotic thanks to his eyes right <laughs> yes he's got great eyes yes. yes but you and i was looking for daniel knowing that the, the actor has to contain two sides so one devilish and one angel-ish uh, so usually I like actors came and they were one or the other. And I think Bartek contained both. Uh, he was an angel looking androgen, thin mm. uh, mm -hmm. body uh, type of character, like more hipster ish. But, but the, I decided to propose the role and I felt like he's hungry to make a uh, a film like this and he well, like, like put out like put up some um, put on some kilos and he uh, gained weight and uh he we went to juvenile detention center so he becomes more street wise you know sure so, sure did he did he spend any time in seminary as well did and he, send him to no, any? he didn't have to he was an altar boy oh okay so he sort of <laughs> so he, he knew everything he kind of knew, knew everything he knew he knew what was going going on i loved one of his phrases to i think it's one of the first services that he holds one of the, i guess they call them in catholic church they call them church services i suppose yeah, yeah. anyway um and i think forgot to 
pay uh, respect to Mary. Yes, uh, yes. Which is so funny because yes. they're all just still waiting for yeah. it. And he it's keeps, the local keeps thing. Keeps like, moving on. Like, like it's, it's funny because yeah. so, like some um, a lot of local communities, they make their own their, service. Like, like their own sort of traditions yes, and so like, on. Like, sure, and, sure, sure. And, and so it's very sort of pagan in a way. Well, like they, right. if they, they start to, for example, um, like like uh, there's obviously Saint Mary and Saint Mary like her uh, pictures of Saint Mary icons are in a lot of churches yes. and they have their own cults uh, surrounding it sure sure so it's yeah. sort of it's sort of as it as it as if it's a schism from the original right like narrative from coming from Vatican. What? So and Polish smaller communities are much more prone to go their own well, way. And isn't this about for me? It's it's about it's step br- br- t- as as uh, Nietzsche Nietzsche the philosopher would say. You got to test those idols. Yeah. You know, and you don't smash yeah. them necessarily, but you got to. Uh, 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 Twilight of the Idols. The subtitle is how to philosophize with a hammer. Oh. Okay. And the whole idea is that not right. that you're smashing it necessarily, yes. but you're testing it. Okay. And so I saw Daniel sort of testing. testing the idol yes. that were that were the traditions yes. right and saying hang on a minute here even though i'm here deceiving you there's still something quite genuine and sincere about yes. it and then he's got that wonderful bit about how you know just talk have a chat have a chat with god <laughs> have a chat with it's god fantastic. that's it and it was it's so uh, like yeah. it's so simple it's and so revolutionary simple. to re- some that's right yeah for orth- orthodox yeah i bet i bet so, yeah no so. it's it's really I, what i love about it is you've 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 layered a a I don't even know. Would you call it a thriller? I guess in a way. In a way, a yes. Drama, yes. Drama it's a serious with drama. thriller elements yeah. to it because yeah. there is this accident that really yeah. happened yeah. in this in, in the community, and they are traumatized by by it. They can sort of they need a healer. That's right. But the only thing, like the only person is uh, there is is a very powerful sexton uh lydia her name is and she sort of because she lost uh, her son in the accident he she holds the community grieving all the time because that's her power her her power is to make them suffer Mm -hmm. and suffer Mm -hmm. with them and that's how he wields power and suddenly if the healer comes somebody who wants to help them them, uh, uh, in runs therapy because that's the only thing he knows from juvenile detention center to you know go through therapy uh he gives it to them suddenly he becomes a threat to an old order right right Ch- challenging the status quo yeah. no, so, so that's the hammer that's thing. the hammer asking questions that you probably shouldn't ask yes yeah or you shouldn't touch. or we'd rather not you ask them right yeah, like, yeah, don't, yeah. don't go there well you know that's isn't that uh, isn't it like everywhere mm-hmm. you know if you touch it's not just the case like, it's not just the you can Church. be you can be a revolutionary but don't touch the fundamentals of structures oh, it's, it's it's that's right it's right right St- like it, it, the moment you start challenging the status quo or pushing yes. back against the positions of power and yes. i mean we can talk about uh, i was talking with an iranian filmmaker recently and i'll i mean oppression and, yes. Chal- yes. and you know talking to robert fisk a yes. wartime middle east journalist yes. he's the whole message is you got to talk to power you got to push back you got to yeah. challenge it to to hopefully get to a more human place which yes. is to me exactly what 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 your film is all about you know there's something about it that that um and maybe this is partially you coming out uh, the writer and so on and i know that you know filmmaking is so uh, collaborative yeah. but there's a real it didn't hit me till late in the film that there's just a profound sadness to the film, to the community, yeah. um, and uh, and maybe it's connected to the tragedy for me. Mm-hmm. I mean, but even in the in the way you shoot it, in the lighting yeah. and so on, I'd love to hear you from it. Can you can we go technical a little bit? Sure. Can you talk a little bit about those cold, gorgeous colors that influenced yeah. the the, way, the emotions I was feeling, and well, your audience will experience. Yeah. Well, at one point we were looking for a way to help, uh, sort of give taste of rejection. Mm. So because everybody in the film is rejected. Right. Daniel is rejected by the community, by the society because of what he did in the past and because of his experience in juvenile detention center. When he's out finally, 
in the beginning of the movie, he will probably never find his place in a community, mm. in in a society. Society doesn't give second chances to people like him. Well, bit. and again, there here's we haven't even talked about that, but another theme, of yeah. course, right? So, so he has no place to go, and there's all there are also people who are after him in his you know underground that's right yes so so he is yeah, i guess if you live a life like that you've probably upset a few people along the way yeah yeah so <laughs> he he's like he has no future no perspectives mm. so and he should flee actually to survive he should just escape from poland somewhere else he doesn't do it he stays and he decides to be a priest he's not a fool he knows what it where at least as people is gonna they're gonna discover him anyway. But what is the community is, is fooling? The community is also rejected. So the rejection is a theme. And so that's why we decided to sort of find this um, very sort of look of the film which will make it um, not too too depressive because too depressing because to it's easy to make people sad and just leave them. I wanted to, there, there, there are glimpses of humor um, in, ma in many scenes, so I wanted to keep it. But we decided not to move the camera at all. So there are only one, oh, like two handheld shots in the mm. film, first mm. one and the, uh, the, the, the ending one, the finish, the ending sequence, and some small, like very uh, delicate push mm. Uh, in like with the dolly and that's it uh the rest of the movie 95 percent of the movie is on shot on fixed camera wow. so why is that because i wanted to daniel to be imprisoned in between four walls of the frame as imprisoned as he is and the community is and the community is also rejected by like feels rejected by the society as a whole so they feel rejected daniel is rejected they need themselves right and to daniel's surprise even though they are they are rejected themselves they do not hesitate to reject some uh, somebody from their community so this is probably absurd and pessimistic at the same time like this m sort of my observation that we people we can't go on without rejecting we always have to like we build structures to you know tell who's better who's worse you know to you know stru structuralize even you know uh if you say uh we th there are leftist values so mi minorities are um you know much more cared of, mm, cared of, taken care of. Uh, it's still human, you know, to to yeah, to, we, to divide and to d right yeah. to separate and separate. You know, instead of instead of similarity through difference, it's yes. it's it's it's, yes. it's all about separation and difference and so on, prejudice and yeah. and, and and presupposition and, yes. and boundaries and yes. all those kinds of yes. things. You know, and we, we, we need to wrap it up, but uh, and I'm, I'm disappointed by that, but we do have to come to an end. Yep. And, and thank you again uh, for, for, for your time and for the, fi for the film. I think it's the mayor of the town who says, which is kind of ironic to me now as I was listening to you speak, I think he says, try not to judge, try to understand or don't judge, but understand. Yes. Well, well and, yeah. And isn't that what you're kind of talking about? I mean, isn't, you know, so when you reject... You're not. You're probably not listening. Yeah. You're probably not trying to understand. Yeah. Right. You're. You're yeah. not. You're not stepping into yeah. that person's life in a way that would actually be would be about a second chance. Would be redemptive. Yeah. Would be building community. Anyway, it's even. I'd yeah. love to hear some of your thoughts on that from a. a well. Well, that's the thing. Like, also, what Mayor says, like, um, um, uh, Mayor doesn't want Daniel to be too active in the community because Daniel makes waves and it's better to have a s stable uh, surface of the lake rather than uh, the sea. But um, uh, he says also, uh, Daniel says, maybe you have the power, but I'm right. And, That's right. And, he, <laughs> yeah, and, and, so and the mayor says, well, maybe you're right, but I have the power. But I have the power. <laughs> so, yeah. so it's yeah. always uh, also like the side of um, the the mayor 
um, the sexton Lydia, they are you know people of power. They pull the you know mm-hmm. they're mover mm-hmm. movers and shakers, which we find everywhere, right? Sure, yep. in the communities, all around the place. So I think Daniel is a threat and danger to to their rule and their sort of status quo. Sure, yeah. Um, but at the same time, they use they m- might go to great lengths in deception as well. I mean, in in cheating this the the in propaganda, right? B- so they also cheat, right? But in their like, it's their way of cheating. Even though Daniel cheats, they cheat as well. But it's because they are in power, they can do it unwittingly to anybody else. Thanks, thanks for your time today, Jan. I really appreciate it. We've been here uh, uh, celebrating uh, the uh, the new film Corpus Christi here at the Toronto International Film Festival, and uh, congratulations. Uh, uh, I wish I was coming to the premiere uh, tonight oh. here, but uh, all, all the best. And thanks again for your time. Thanks for having me.